let's start with uh, the participation rates across the country, which we know uh, are the the big strength of the game in, in Australia, the grassroots. And we've seen an exponential growth yet again on the back of the FIFA Women's World Cup, which of course was held in Australia and New Zealand in 2023, particularly uh, growth in girls and women's football. And this is uh, led to one of your initiatives that you want to talk about today. We can see it on the screen. It's there. We need an hashtag equaliser. So we'll get into the nuts and bolts of that. We've we've actually been seeing this for the last sort of three years, not just the last six months or 12 months. I think the World Cup crystallised a lot of it. But the trend had actually been really ramping up over the last five years and, and more um, uh, quite strongly over the last three years, but we've had quite similar growth over the last three years, particularly in women and girls. Um, but the, the boys' growth uh, last year and, and even kicking into this year has also been sort of record-breaking across both. So so the game of football is, is growing at rates which are increasingly difficult to manage, um, but it's obviously a much better problem to have than it would be... Uh, you know, like some of the other codes going the other direction. So uh, quite happy to to struggle with, with our growth um, uh, rather than not. But in terms of um, women and girls, I mean, geez, the, the, the numbers are about 44% up, um, which, is, which is extraordinary. And we're not talking about up on, you know, 1,000 or 2,000 or 3,000 female players. We're talking uh, 30, 40,000 players. So the, the volume of... Or well, the scale of our game remains significant, which is why we have significant challenges. So, um, seeing the number of participants grow, um, we're seeing it not only in the juniors; we're actually seeing it in in the youth and seniors. So it's it's across the board. We're we've been rolling out strategies for the last three years to make sure that we are capturing. Um, young boys and girls, keeping them in the game and also trying to welcome um, our more mature um, player base to come back if they've played before Mm -hmm. or to try us for the first time. So we're doing things right across all age groups and we've got programs right across all age groups and right across Queensland as well. It's been delivering absolutely cracking success. 